Let's go! Greetings everyone, Nation Bart here. Hope you're having a fantastic day, and I hope you're having a fantastic Nintendo. Uh, I, I signed myself up for this and I'm doing two themed months, one after the other, but at least with this one, I'm playing games that one I'm familiar with and two um, don't leave me sitting there thinking, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> so we are playing Majora's Mask, <laughs> which is uh, one of the creepiest Zelda games. It's definitely one of the weirdest. Um, just because there's a lot of there's a lot of interesting discourse going on in the game, but we are not playing Majora's Mask in the normal way. No, because why would I do that? I don't think I've played any Zelda game on this channel in a normal way. We are doing a randomizer for Zelda uh, Majora's Mask. Reason why I'm picking uh, Majora's Mask is I'll get into more detail, but it's better in my opinion than the Ocarina of Time ones because those ones are long, <laughs> and I don't know them as well. Even though it's one of my favourite games of all time, I don't actually know Ocarina of Time that well in terms of the various checks that you'd have to do. But what is a randomizer for those who've never seen a randomizer before? So imagine all of the items in the game, you know, uh, the heart piece that's up by the clock. Imagine if that was a different item or if the Deku, you know, the, if you were to play the Song of Healing on the Goron and get a different mask or a different item. Randomizers take all of the items in the game and shuffle them around a bit. So yes, it's certainly a bit chaotic. So the plan of today is, well, the, the plan of this series is we're going to be playing through Majora's Mask Randomized. And the idea is we want to get all the masks and the fierce, get to the moon, get the fierce there, Link Mask and defeat Majora's Mask. The Feet Majora's Mask is the easy bit. Um, and you'll notice I'm using the cafe model. Oh, what is this? Nice! I think half damage. That's a pretty good start. Hang on, let's... Actually, no, I'm not going to play the song of... The, the inverted song of time, because I want time to go forward a little bit. So that's interesting. I've already got the defense up here, which is going to be super helpful for um, some things that I want to try. But one thing I want to try, should I say. Grab the fairy. Thankfully, the uh, stray fairies are all in the same place. I could have shuffled those, but... Um, I'm not that confident. M mostly what I've done is I've just shuffled all the chests and overworld items. I haven't put shops into logic either because messing around the shops is a messy business. And it kind of, it does sort of ruin things a bit when you can go to a shop and there's like a handful of really good items. I'd rather it just be like, okay, you know, it's the vanilla items in the shops and that's a map. It's a dungeon map. Ugh, okay, sure, I'll get that. What's up here? But yeah, the idea is that the items are all in places that, you know, it, oh, crud. they're just not in where they should be. So, I mean, okay, there's a couple of things that will remain the same. Um, the dungeons, by and large, will kind of be the same. Um, and obviously the fierce deity mask is on the moon or at least it should be i hope it's on the moon because that would kind of reel within the whole point of what i'm trying to do here the so first things first we're going to do a handful of checks that are relatively easy to do so like clock tower the tree we're going to drop off the fairy here and get a piece of heart god Damn it! <laughs> there are a lot of pieces of heart in this game. I think when I last did a count of them, there's like uh, 52. That's, that's a sizable chunk of your item pool when you think about. It. So expect to see lots of heart pieces, <laughs> pieces of heart. So at this moment in time, the reason why I haven't sped up, well, the reason why I haven't slowed down time is because I want time to advance to 10 o'clock. Because at 10 o'clock, I'll be able to get into the maze office and once it, and the mayor's office is where another check is it, it's just a sort of expediency thing you also notice that there are a couple of uh graphical oddities ignore that <laughs> there's a couple of graphical oddities don't worry about those that's all fine and dandy um i might as well keep i'm going as it is as well when i do the other checks in terminal field because what we're going to want to do is... Oh, 
Ah, no. I was hoping to side jump. There goes Gorm Gorman? Is there Gorman in this? I think it is. So yeah, we're waiting until 10 o'clock so we can pop into the mayor's office and go speak to his wife so we can go hunt down their lost son, Yafe. Whose model I have stolen for this run because I just think it's kind of funny to play through this game and not use this normal Link model. So hopefully I can get in there before he does. Come on. Oh, you! He is literally like... He hits that door. And the door changed type, didn't it? It changed into, um... Yeah, it changed into the interior door. That's kind of weird. So we're going to talk to Cafe's mum. Oh, are you, are you the, um... The person I, I hired to find my son? Have some money! That will help you find my son. No, it won't. This will not help me find your son. It doesn't matter. Right, so let's pop out to Terminal Field and go check some locations out there. And ideally, I want to see if I can get myself a... Mm, I need to see if I can get myself a bottle. The only way I can get myself a bottle, the better. Let's just climb up here. So there's a lot of these, what I refer to as grottos. Some of these... I never knew existed <laughs> until I started doing uh, Majora's Mask randomizers. I haven't done as many of these, at least not to completion, as I've done A Link to the Past because A Link to the Past I can average between like two and a half to three hours. Express Metal! Oh! Oh! Okay! Hmm. That's interesting. That's a really interesting item to find. It's also a, um, it's that quest item get overwritten by anything. Oh no. The express mail to Mama, you would, you have two choices. You either give that to the postman on the final day, or you deliver it directly to the mayor's wife. Uh, delivering it directly to the mayor's wife, she gives you, she, usually she'll give you a bottle of Shapogamania. If you give it to the postman, you get the postman's hat. Which is probably one of the most useless masks in the game, truth be told. Useful for getting exactly one piece of heart. But that being said, that's kind of true for a lot of heart pieces or a lot of masks in this game. Oh! Opponent song! Nice! I have my force back. This is good. It means I can get Great Bay. And it means I can get. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. There's quite a few things I can do with that. But I say, no, there's not quite a few things. There's only a handful of things I can do. Oh, the Razor Sword. That's kind of cool. So, one of the things about this game is, it is um, sort of the time limit on things in this game adds this kind of element to it that's going to be very interesting because when we go back in time, all the chests that have opened will reset. So I'll be able to get the Razor Sword whenever I want from that chest. And now 100 swings, quite a few swings. I'm probably not going to use up all 100 swings. But we're going to head back into town very quickly because we need to um, we need to pop to the Stock Pot Inn. The reason why we want to pop to the Stock Pot Inn is because um, Anju, who is uh, the woman who's going to get married to Cafe, uh, she is waiting for someone to claim their reservation on a room. I'm going to claim the reservation, despite it not being for me. It's for someone else called Lonk. In fact, there's a Gorgon called Lonk. <laughs> Poor Lonk, he's no idea what's go is going to happen to him. So let's, um... Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit early. This is the problem. What can I do in the meantime whilst we wait? Because what we're waiting for is we're waiting for the mailman to drop off a letter to her. Which would actually be a letter from Cafe. So this is one of the unfortunate things about this game. This game does have this element where you do kind of wait around a little bit. I wonder if I can approach her now about the room. Excuse me! 
Yes, I do. Oh, thank God, I can do it now. Excellent. You gave me money. I don't know how I feel about this. That's quite a bit of money she gave me. Right. So let's go to, let's go to the shops very quickly. And the other thing I want to do is now, now that we're at this point, I want to play the inverted song of time because I've got a lot that I want to check before I um before night well I say before night time before midnight of the first day so yeah uh just going back to Ocarina of Time very quickly um the reason why I don't do Ocarina of Time randomizers that often is because they are just I don't know the game that well there's a lot of like hidden things that are just so different like if you know it if you know it's there that's fine but trust me you don't know those things are there let's just now in, in all fairness i should probably keep the um oh i will buy the bomb back that's actually gonna be useful 50 rupees that's, this is fine so at least with the bomb bag, I can do a couple of things. Um, bomb things, mostly. Blow things up. Yep. And, um, yeah, so the, the, there's some grottos, some hidden, like, caves that... Unless you have the Stone of Agony, you're probably not going to know they're there. What's the Stone of Agony? It was... Uh, it was the Rumble Pack uh, in... Ocarina of Time, it basically caused your controller to vibrate when you were near a secret hole in the ground that you had to blow open with a bomb. <laughs> and some of them are in, like, have weird places. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to just do a quick skip here. So what you can do is, if you position yourself just right, and I'm not getting it because my Z targeting is being a sod, we can just uh, back foot past this kid. Typically, what you need to do is you need to get the secret password to the bomber hideout. Nah, let's not do that. Let's let's just skip them. <laughs> skip past them. So, boom. And we can just kind of go past this this guy. Whoop, whoop. And we're gonna blow open this wall. Nice. So what is in this chest? Please be something useful. That's not useful. <laughs> right, I'm talking about the checks we can do. Um, we're kind of very light on items at the moment. Really important items are things like the bow, the hook shot. We do have a bonus song, so we can go to um, Great Bay, but there's not a lot we can do there at this moment in time. There might be some things we can check. Um, I'm not too confident in uh, what we'd necessarily find, so I'm not going to worry about it. Instead, there are two grottos I'm going to hit up. One of them is a fight against P Hat, the other one's going to be fights against some Dodongos. So, let us go out and fight some creatures. We've got the armor upgrade, so even at three hearts, things like the Dodongo aren't exactly that scary. And I've just got to be careful of that bird over there. There's a like a vulturey thing. He will steal my razor sword, which is not good because um, then I'll be without I'll be Sans weapon, which would be very bad. The reason why I came here now is because if you come to the P hat too late, um, it will uh, go to sleep. When I say too late, I mean when it gets to night time. And it's easier just to swing your sword at it like that. I mean, you could jump attack it, but the jump attack is... I don't find it that effective. So, what have we got in this chest? Oh, okay, the room key. Nice. So, if I need the room for the stock pot in, boom, it's right there. Good. Uh, actually, that's kind of helpful, because I, if I can find another item... The other item I'd be looking for is um, any kind of paper. That would be good because I can make use of that at midnight. I make use of that at midnight on any of the three nights. 
So let's just go around and hopefully the the, 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 the hopefully the, the dongos won't be too much of a problem for me. Ah, uh, I do enjoy this game. It is when I first played it, I didn't actually enjoy it that much because it is much shorter than I say shorter. It's first time you're still going to take a while to actually beat it for your first time, but. There's just more, there's more dungeons, there's just more going on in Ocarina of Time, which at the time, for me, made that one sort of the better game. I didn't really pay too much attention to the, um... I mean, I, I don't think at the time, when I was a kid, I didn't really appreciate the depth that Majora's Mask These also drop 50 rupees. I should have I should have remembered that. Because I'm gonna to want to drop off all these rupees that I'm getting at the um bank. Because the bank has three checks for the amount of rupees you deposit, which kinda of sucks. Super useful Goron mask. Nice. I can now move around the world a lot faster. I mean, I can also move around the world. Oh, do you know what? I should have just like grabbed a boner. Never mind. We have Goron Link. Which actually, that opens up a um, that opens up a check. I think. So we'll go. Maybe we'll drop off our rupees and then we'll go check it out, shall, I, shall we say. So let's just drop off our 99 rupees. I still don't have, my, I still don't have magic, so there's things I still can't do. I can't um, get the Goron sort of spiky ball thing going. Basically, when you're rolling in a Goron, if you pick up a certain amount of speed, you, um, you activate these spikes. Which is an ability that has never been explored in any other, like, game. It's so bizarre. But there is a... Oh no, no, that's, that's the wrong one. It's this one. And there's a chest in here. Haha! <laughs> My chest! Ah, heart container. That's kind of dead, which is good. It's good to know what things are kind of useless to me. Um, I need money. And I know I could just, like... Hmm. Grottos. So those are the places we need to check. We head towards this way, and we should be a nice hole in the ground we can fall into. There. See, without Deku, the Deku mask, it's really interesting how little you can. There's a lot in this game that hinges on on the Deku mask. <laughs> that stone tower, not particularly useful because stone tower is the final location of the game. Right, I suppose we'll head back to Clock Town. We might be able to get enough money to do, um... To do one of the mini-games. I'm not quite sure how much money I need. I'm pretty sure you need 20 rupees to do the chess mini game, which is the one I want to do. So I think if you do it as a Goron, you get a special item. Usually you get a heart piece out of it, but because again, the game's randomized. Now they might have randomized all the rewards, which would kind of suck. <laughs> now that box there, useful box actually to in this game because you can go back to it, it respawns every time you transition and 
you know, you get five rupees. It's pretty nice. So I think I just want 20 rupees and now we'll try the chest game. I mean, I, I was doing a run earlier. I had to reset it because um, the, I accidentally put the Fear State Link Mask in the general item pool, which was not what I wanted to do. 30 rupees? Oh, fucking scam merchant you are. Right, let's think. Honey and Darling might be able to um, see if they have a game I can actually play. Is this... This is the archery one, isn't it? We have we have a <laughs> we have a customer. Oh, it's bomb shoot gallery day today. Nice. Okay. So what we've got to do with this one is we just got to hit the targets um, with bomb shoes. Bomb shoes are fun because they're little explosive mice things that are incredibly difficult to aim on a platform that spins around. And hopefully. This, this one, if I remember, is actually not too bad. You've got to be careful not to fall off the platform. But you've also got to be careful because it will speed up as they're dancing. Okay, good. We just got one more, which is above the door. And boom. Nicely done. Perfect. Yes! Oh, very nice. So I suppose whilst we wait for the next thing, that's whilst we wait for night time, um, there's another thing I want to do, which is the sword training. Which is a really... It's, it's a weird thing, is you, you, you can do like a basic tutorial sword training where it teaches you the different ways of attacking, and then there is this challenge where it's like, yes, I want you to cut down these logs, and you got to get you get points for how for the method that you cut them down in and it's sort of like okay i want you to cut them down you know show off your skills but really all he's looking for you to do is just use the jump attack the expert course oh no i gotta be careful because you gotta be quite quick with this because they don't stay up for that long and being incorrectly aligned will just throw off your jump it will ruin everything you will wasted your 10 rupees and everyone's sad <laughs> and there we go perfect score of 30 he gave me bomb cheese damn old man well, bearded man. <laughs> Not what I wanted. So, now that it's getting closer to nap time, um, ooh, I'm trying to think what my options My options are rapidly running out. <laughs> Though, one thing I can do, so, the, the Great Fairy actually has two items for you. You can get one by returning the Lost Fairy, and the other one you get by going to him after you've returned all returned that Lost Fairy, whilst in a non-human form. This is because, technically, this Great Fairy gives you two items, the Great Fairy's Mask and your basic magic meter. I got some milk. Actually, that's quite useful. Very useful, as a matter of fact. So, um... So what we're going to do is with this milk I will need some money though ah oh, this is the problem I need I suppose I could get the money out of my bank account <laughs> get the money out of my bank account <laughs> just I think you never expect to hear from it in a Zelda game so my friend you have a story to tell me about a dog and you stole his mask and you gave me a fool oh you yeah hmm 
Right. Yeah. I suppose, yeah, we'll, we'll get out about 50 rupees. I think that is going to be the amount we're going to need. But, um, no. no, I don't want to pause it. Zero rupees? Is this a joke? Yeah, it, it is. I... Let's get out 49. Let's give myself a nice round. Yes. 46 rupees. Hmm. Yeah, actually, I didn't want to do it that way, did I? No. No talking. Only zooming. So the thing I'm worried about with the Honey and Darling game is... I think I need the bow on the third day, I think it is. I think the second day is a, um... Wolfosis, no! I forgot Wolfosis spawned here at night. So what we need to do first of all is we need to come over this way. To bounce off everything as well. Ah! Christ, I literally got like no rupees on my way here. <laughs> Sucks. So, this monkey is going to help us through this sort of maze of things. There's this, this Lost Woods wannabe, if you will. Because if you don't follow the monkey, you will end up going the wrong way and you will end up back at the start. Kind of like the Lost Woods. The actual forest changes depending on what day you're on. Ow, help me! Ah, I was picking mushrooms and some... Punk kid knocked me out. I'm an old lady. So yeah, what we now do is we we learn about that. We head back this way to this potion shop. Tell her sister. Her sister's like, oh my god. And typically she'll give you the potion that you need to have revive her. I was going to say resuscitate her, but that's the wrong word. <laughs> My potions work very well, they do. Quick, give her this. Give her this map of Snowhead. This will make her feel better. I don't think it will. Somehow. Somehow I'm very much doubting that. <laughs> let's just... Let's just chug some milk. Get, get ourselves some nice strong bones. And we are going to buy... Oh, it was only 20 rupees. That is dirt cheap. Consider that the blue potion is 60 rupees, which is not a huge amount of rupees. Alright, back to Goron Link. Don't worry, monkey, I know my... Don't worry, monkey, I know the way. Immediately gets it wrong. Hang on. Let me do that again. Let me not embarrass myself this time. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm just embarrassing myself now, aren't I? <laughs> the next one. Yeah. Okay. Woom. No? What? You know what? Last time I did this, I got it right first time, and I'm just like, why is my memory so bad? Yeah, this one's all the way across the limits. Ah! Then to the left here, and here we go! Which I bring you, Red Goo! Red Goo will make everything- Red Goo makes everything better! <laughs> Oh no.
Told me he's revived! You saved me! That I did. So, actually, it's kind of fortuitous that we have, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they want me to go to the Deku Palace, but I'm okay right now. It's kind of fortuitous that we have a bottle. Because I think I might have shuffled, uh... Bottle contents. Which is a little bit terrifying. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, so, water's up. Water's it? Water is ghosts. Water is ghosts. This is this is important information. Powerful heart piece up there. Oh my god, it's a full heart container. That's two of the boss heart containers really like located. Wild. New Wave Bossa Nova. Kind of useless, because that is the song to get into um Great Bay Temple. I can, mm, I can nearly get to Great Bay Temple. I think I, just, I just, no, I need Zora Link to get to Great Bay Temple because I need to play the new wave boss and over on the the guitar. So you may have noticed there's been a couple of like quality of life um, fixes. The boat here is traveling significantly faster than it normally would, and there are a couple of other things. Uh, Cutscenes are obviously. Um, not being played and let's jump back on the boat can i i am boarding thank you very much so between that and just like a couple of other things uh dialogue i think is faster because that's one of the other problems i've been, I've been playing ocarina of time a fair bit recently and the dialogue my god is it slow <laughs> uh, yeah what we'll do is we'll drop off the boat, we'll save our game, and then we'll call it there, because it is actually already time. Jesus, would you look at that? Time flies in Terminal. So we'll drop off our we'll drop a save at the owl statue and we'll go from there. Yes, I want to save and quit. <laughs> but, uh, and with saving and quitting, we will, um, again, kind of bring things to a close there. And next time we'll continue. We'll, we'll kind of, there's a couple of late night checks I need to do. Go get interesting because um, I've got that letter, that priority mail for Mama, which... I wonder if I can stick that in a letterbox. I'll, I'll do that at, at another point, not like now, because that would be um, kind of ridiculous. But mm, with that all said, hopefully you've enjoyed yourself. This is for Nintendo. My plan is Majora's Mask will be kind of going on every other day, kind of similar to what I was doing with White Day. And hopefully it will feature a lot less sort of um, wasted time of me not knowing where I'm going, because by and large, I know what I'm doing with Majora's Mask, he says. Until we get to sort of, until we hit late game, but what I'm hoping is by that point I would have got all the masks. The aim is get all the masks, defeat the four bosses, get the fierce day link masks. Those are our three goals. Pretty straightforward. Anyway, with that all said and I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Give me links to my socials in the description below, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs> hey, thanks for joining me on this Majora's Mask Randomizer 4. Nintendo 2023, so <laughs> this should be interesting because um, Majora's Mask is a lot easier to run than other 3D Zelda games, but it still could be a little bit annoying. Anyway, let's see where this goes. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, you can click on me right there. Otherwise, over there, there'll be a playlist for uh, Nintendo 2022, and there'll be a link to one of the other Zelda randomizers I did. The Well, the, one of the links to the past ones I did. So, you know, you can go have some fun with that, I suppose. <laughs> oh, dear. Randomizers are fun, trust me.